It is Monday, May 24th, and I'm just gonna do a not end up detailed video. I'm just gonna kind of walk through the garden. Um, every year you start out with a plan and then it changes and um, it's definitely changed. So I always forget and pick all the vegetables and deadhead everything before I take the videos, but this is what I got today and I deadheaded the marigolds and broke them up for the chickens. Um, I have been fertilizing with the compost and that's all that's left, um, which is sad, but it means it's working. So these two little beds, I had no idea what I was starting when I did it. I just plopped some marigolds that I started in pots around and dumped some sunflower seeds. Um, they're actually doing really well and they're just fun little spots that I have no plans for um, other than just just to have. Uh, I have cleaned out the herbs and so we have our cilantro that I have been making lots of salsa with. The dill is doing really well and the basil I have already made two batches of pesto with. So the main part of the garden. So we have our tomatoes and peppers. Um, I have also been getting jalapenos that we use backstrap and wrap around. Um, the tomatoes are doing really well. Uh, oh, the little container tomato that I was complaining about that never works, it actually is. Um, and then there's a bunch. These are better boys. I still have yet to have any of them make it into the house red because we fry them up. Um, my cherry tomatoes, I pulled up because I had over pruned them. So I pulled them up and I started this one and it's already doubled in size. And yes, I bought the plant. So yes, I did that. Um, my Big boy sunflowers are just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Uh, let's see. They've started to make it head, so I would think probably in about a week. Um, but they are, oh gosh, 11 feet about right now. Um, the cucumbers around them are still going well. I just today added a bunch of compost to the pots and I'll water that in really good because it's um, it's pretty well aged so I won't I'm not afraid of it burning the squash and zucchini uh, I'm getting tons of squash and zucchini I'm they are growing out over the pots now um, like this one for instance I try to prop them up but then I'm like you know I just let them go and when I let them go, they usually do better. Because I will admit, I do have a tendency to overmother. So I've taken the marigolds that I had started in all the pots um, and made little flower gardens. Because it's good for the soil. And plus, it's just this area right here around this electric pole um, was just nothing. And so. I hate to throw away a good marigold, so those are going really well. I planted zinnias right here and then put some bricks around it just to hold the soil in. So the grow bags. Okay, so I talked about the grow bags when I got them. I started them with beans, then I pulled the beans out, then I put zucchini in them, then I put, pulled the zucchini out, and now they have sunflowers. Um, there's a lot of thought that went into it um, because I have the zucchinis planted back on the farm. So, and I want more sunflowers. So they are starting to sprout. So I try to spread out my sunflower blooms as long as possible because I love them so much. So like those big tall ones will bloom. And then these guys, well, they've grown a foot in a week. Um, and so I kind of spread the blooms out through the summer. It's too late now to, to plant any sunflowers if you want to get any height on them. 
Um, these are my drowned cucumbers that I rescued from the backyard and I'm already pulling cucumbers off of them and they're doing really good. And then I have my okra and I just, uh, two days ago I noticed blooms on the okras. So I should be getting, oh yeah, here we go. So I'll be getting okras for days, hopefully. And then here are some baby marigolds that I'll either let grow out in the pots or I will replant them around um, the yard in different spaces. Like I've done all of this. Those are my nasturtiums that I had in the pots. Um, and it just is it's so much easier to water like that. So what are my problems lately? Um, underwatering. That's my biggest issue right now with the heat is my biggest problem is underwatering. I can flood these containers and they're dry by three hours. So also the, the black ground cover is great for nighttime and keeping weeds out, but during the day it gets very, 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 very hot. And so on these bigger plants, um, like the zucchini and especially uh, like the tomatoes that, that uh, their roots go so deep, the bottom of the pots get super, super, super hot. So along with the wind that have tilted my sunflowers, but it's the only thing saving my plants right now because it's keeping them a little bit cool. Um, so that's, that's it. And yes, my plan is to still go back in ground next year because I'm not standing here watering each of these pots again because it's just too much. But I love it and peace out. Bye.